everybody, Glenn, Red Dog Motorsports. We are back out in the shop. And today, we're working on the 2011 Ram 3500. Um, I'd mentioned in one of the previous videos that this thing might crop up in the videos. And here it is, not even two weeks later. Three weeks, whatever the case may be. Um, I need to get this back on the road as my daily, uh, my 06 Dodge that I finished the mechanical work here a little while back is going to be leaving uh, my stepson's going to take it and I need this done and back on the road is my daily so we've got a bunch of the sheet metal parts ordered, the new bumper all of that stuff to get it fixed uh, we're going to be painting the fender and the bumper uh, that's going to be coming up right next week but for right now uh, I got the transmission out it went to the rebuilder it's back I put it in yesterday so underneath is all buttoned up I didn't film any of it because, well, it's just a bunch of me laying on the ground and it's really hard for me to get shots of what I'm doing since it's not on the lift. So I didn't do it. But today we're going to rebuild the front end. And by rebuild it, I mean we're putting on, well, let me show you the parts. Step on over here. All right, we got a whole list of parts here. I've got new control arms, upper and lower. Uh, now I didn't pull there. If you don't see doubles, that's just because I left them in the box. So really only dealing with half of everything right now. I've got new bushings for the panard bar, upper and lower ball joints, uh, new unit bearing. We've got the new drag link. I've got a new steering stabilizer and sway bar links. Let's discuss how we're going to do this upper control arm, lower control arm. Those are pretty straightforward. Um, I've got the axle up on jack stands. Obviously, since the wheel's not here, I'm going to jack the body up and support the frame. Um, and what I want to do is by doing that, we're going to work, we're going to remove one at a time. We'll remove one, install it. Tighten everything back down, remove the other one, install it, and tighten it back down. And that'll hopefully keep everything from rotating. But by supporting the frame and the axle, if I do need to move it, it's easy enough to put a strap or something on it. It's easy enough to just put a strap on it and get things moved back into position and then get everything tightened up. As for the brakes, or not the brakes, as for the rest of it, here we're going to remove the caliper. Uh, we'll unbolt the outer piece here, um, the extension, the dually extension. That'll let us remove the rotor and all of that. Uh, that gets us to the unit bearing, which unbolts from the back side with four bolts. Once all of that's clear, uh, we can remove the steering components drop the knuckle, do the ball joints, and then reinstall it all. Uh, shouldn't have to take the whole axle shaft out. Uh, we'll just disconnect it from the outside of the uh, unit bearing. And then when all of the steering stuff is removed, uh, we can work on replacing those. Uh, it'd be easier then. It'll be easier then uh, since everything are to be knocked loose and then uh, it's just a matter of flipping over to the other side and doing that Let's get to it Went down to the river, wash my sins away. I'm praying, pray, 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 pray for another day. I went down to the river, wash my sins for free. The devil's on the other bank, staring back at me. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man. Another 
Another nail in my coffin Another nail for me I gotta look pretty when I go down Another nail in my coffin Can't you spare one more? I gotta look pretty when I'm knocking down heaven's door I'm a dead man walking I'm a dead man walking I'm a dead man I'm a dead man walking All right, update everybody. Some days are just more difficult than others. I'm not in, not feeling it today. I'll show you. Sorry about the poor camera work here. It, it's tough to get down here while holding the camera. All right. So dealing with this is the upper link right here upper link that's where the bolt is the nut normally right there so there's the bolt head there's the exhaust and of course I can't hold everything it just sorry it's a little dark you can see obviously it doesn't come out I can't pull it down it doesn't push up high enough had I done this before yesterday transmission wouldn't have been there the exhaust wouldn't have been in the way and this would have been easy but I wasn't paying attention to it I had other things I was working on just figured I'd do this when it was done so now I gotta go through and remove all of the transmission mounts, hold the transmission up with the jack, and hope that the exhaust drops low enough that I can then pull it out. Because right now, excuse me, I can't that I can't take the exhaust apart. The the clamps that have been used have gotten it all deformed. I'd have to cut it apart. It's a fairly new exhaust there's no damage to it I don't want to replace it so if I can't get this out I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to figure something out I ain't taking the transmission back out although now would be the time to do that because right now it's dry there's no fluids in it etc etc man that would suck though so hopefully by just taking out all of the transmission mounts cross members the exhaust will drop enough that we can squeak that bolt out and we can replace that one I definitely want to replace these because here's the upper the lower one and you can see it's torn so this thing's moving around this said isn't as bad it's working but you can see that's torn quite a bit so I know that the axle's moving around, which makes the steering vague and makes it wander, that kind of thing. So getting all of these replaced is important. It's going to really tighten up the front end of the truck. And considering that I do a lot of long trips with them, I need it. So let me get in there. We'll start pulling all the work I did yesterday back out and go from there. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man. You ever seen a dead man talking? No, you haven't seen one yet. I'm a dead man walking. 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 I'm a dead man. Went down 
to that hill Wash my sins for free No one seemed to notice as I stared I went down to that river To wash my sins away I was thinking of you and that wedding gown I went down to that water To wash my sins away Alright, let's uh, cover where I'm at So, I got the bolt in Got it out, got it in Big pain in the butt um, at one point I'm under there trying to push the exhaust up, trying to get the bolt back in and I can't see where the upper arm needs to be to line the holes up. Oh yeah. Fun and games. But let me show you some of what I got going on here. So the upper arm is in, all the bolts are in place. You can't really see that one, but it's in. Back there somewhere, there it is. Um, I had to put a strap on it uh, to get everything pulled into position um, just with the spring load on it not being completely disconnected. Sorry, it was moving around, but I got it. So now what I can do is go back in, redo all the transmission mounts, um, get the transmission remounted, get the exhaust mounted back up because uh, all of that should be out of the way. Would have been so much simpler had I just done this uh, the other day. But, you know, most of the time if you were doing this, you wouldn't have the transmission out either. Um, you'd be getting in there uh, just like I am and trying to get it done uh, just in the driveway or whatever. And uh, it can be done. It's just going to take a minute. But the other side should be a lot easier because we won't have to deal with this. But I'm only going to film one side. So let me get everything back in and then we'll work on removing the rest of this side and getting the other parts in. All right, guys, update on where we're at. I got everything back together on this side in terms of upper and lower link is in, the exhaust is back in, the transmission mounts are all back in. So I'm back to square one. Uh, you know, it's just one of them days. I don't know somewhere in there. I got on the struggle bus I don't know when but I did it's not really that horrible I mean had it not been for the fact that I that I just took that put the transmission in yesterday I could have avoided all that trouble if I paid a little attention wouldn't bother me a bit uh, But that's life. No big deal. All right, so I've Wasted most of the day screwing around with that. So tomorrow we'll get in here and we'll finish up with ball joints and tie rod ends and all of that. Uh, we'll press in the new bushings on the panard bar. All that good stuff. Should be able to hopefully knock that out without too terribly much trouble. Um, what else we got going on? So, uh, as you saw in last week's video, uh, the buggy motor is good to go. I still need to do that drive shaft. Um, I have been working on the rat rod just a little bit um, getting prepared for the next video um, I stabbed the motor in uh, this would be basically using the stock motor mount locations for an s10 and then I started doing some measurements and basically this point of the motor needs to be back here at this yellow line uh, it's about a foot difference and the reason that it has to be is with the way that the body that I'm using is set up uh, in order for the wheels to hit properly in the wheel wells on the front, that's where that motor needs to sit. So motor mount, transmission mount that are existing cannot be used. Not a big deal. I was hopeful, but such is life. In the back, we have uh, basically got the axle set to where it is going to be in terms of front to back distance um so big c notch is going to come up here and over and down and gas tank fuel tank's going to come out i am going to try to reuse it uh, mainly because it has uh the fuel and everything in it fuel gauge the fuel pump all that should be in there um, i need to pull it out but it should have an electric fuel pump in it which i want uh because it'll make running the motor so much easier 
but we'll basically I think we'll just turn it and stick it back here uh, in the back uh, behind the axle because the axle is going to go forward a little bit and uh, we should have room with the C notch and everything uh, to stick it in there and then the fuel cell or the fuel fill in the uh, body I'm using the the Jeepster body is actually up over here so we'll be able to bring it down and over uh, with just some simple bends I think I think I'm hoping that's what we're going to try for I'm winging this as I go so uh, but that being said uh, looks like um, we should be able to get everything in place like I was thinking the wheels I think we're going to go with the 35 on the rear and a little bit lower in the front so some real serious big and littles that's where we're at I'm gonna sign off for today we'll get back in here tomorrow and get going all right so here at the axle we're gonna remove uh, the outer dually adapter we're gonna remove the brake caliper bracket and everything pads the whole nine yards there's just two bolts on the back we'll remove it we'll hang it up once we remove the adapter we'll be able to take the rotor off that will free us up to remove the bolt the main nut uh, that attaches the axle shaft itself uh, the stub shaft to the uh, bearing unit bearing that is uh, the unit bearing is held on by four bolts in the back so we just have to unclip the ABS sensor wire those four bolts will be able to knock it off and then that'll free us up to remove the two nuts uh, that hold the ball joints to the knuckle and then from there we just use the ball joint press so let's get into it and get going joints are out upper and the lower so now it's just time to put them back in uh, the lower definitely uh, shot I'm not positive I know some of these the upper actually doesn't have any side to side play just up and down and I think that's acceptable if I remember correctly um, you can't have any side to side play the lower though has side to side play uh, that's going to help feed a vague feeling uh, with your steering just as things move around so good thing we're replacing these i'm going to uh, just do the reverse on the install uh, 
not even that much to watch really but uh, we're gonna get on it and get them installed I'm gonna clean things up on the inside with some emery cloth uh, scratch pad whatever the case may be um, just to do that uh, get things so we don't have a bunch of corrosion in there and then uh, yeah that's it so let's get to it all right ball joints are replaced I've got the axle uh, back in place um, put it in at an angle and then you gotta press it in there I ended up using a dead blow uh, to drive it in the rest of the way once I had everything lined up now we're just going to reinstall the knuckle uh, which should be fine not a big deal sorry I gotta I'll get that out in a minute but uh, yeah good times probably should have taken the steering off of it And of course, as only I can do, I've got things in the way. All right, maybe I can't do it this way. We'll get these tightened down, the nuts that is, get the carter pins installed, and then here's the other nut, and then we got to reinstall, or not reinstall, we're going to replace the unit bearing on the outside. Um, I'll grease the splines a little bit, we'll install it, four bolts in the back, I'll be using the anesthes on those, and then uh, yeah. Then it's just reinstall the brakes. And then we can move on to steering, sway bar links, that kind of thing. So let's get to it. All right, guys, we are wrapping up for the day, um, or actually for the week for you guys. Uh, everything is back together. Uh, all the ball joints are replaced. The unit bearing is replaced. Both of the upper and lower links are. I am going to replace the panard bar bushings. The I already did the sway bar links. Uh, we're going to do the drag link uh, tie rod ends and the steering stabilizer. I'm not doing the steering link uh, yet. I'm looking. There's an aftermarket one I want to buy. Um, I haven't found it yet. Uh, but other than the difficulties that I had with the upper mount and just some of the frozen parts that uh, uh, you typically run into, uh, it wasn't that bad of a job. Um, so. I do appreciate all the support that I've been getting, all of you guys that are signing up and subscribing. Thank you so much. Uh, if you got any questions or comments, uh, put them down below. Uh, I'd appreciate it. With that, we'll catch you on the next one.